Greetings, fellow travelers in this world wide web of internet shkanomini. It is I, Stewie Dark of Invisible Lid, welcoming you back to my tiny little neck of the woods. Today, I'm doing something totally different. I'm making a video of an unboxing of a quite a unique item that I think all Beatle fans should grab onto, man. This is so rad. Julia Baird who is John Lennon's half-sister, is working with the Salvation Army to rebuild Strawberry Fields. Now, let me read, let me read from the website. Our vision for Strawberry Field is to weave together educational, cultural, heritage, and spiritual exploration in one bold, imaginative plan. Building on from the story of Strawberry Field, we want to create a vibrant visitor experience that inspires people today as much as the place inspired the young John Lennon. Strawberry Field is in Woolton, Liverpool close to where John Lennon grew up. For John, the Salvation Army site at Strawberry Field was a place of peace and refuge, but also a place to escape and enjoy a turbulent world, a quiet spot where he could play with friends, climb trees, and dream his dreams. So a new exhibit exploring the story of the place, the song, and John Lennon's early life will open at Strawberry Field on the original site that inspired the famous song. So on their website, the link is at strawberryfieldliverpool.com. Check it out for yourself. The Salvation Army, through association with uh, Julia Baird, John Lennon's half-sister, are offering Victorian bricks from the original building that was at Strawberry Fields. So basically, you can own a piece of Strawberry Fields. It's a no-brainer. So here's some more information. Own a piece of the original Victorian Strawberry Field, the building John Lennon would have seen as a child while playing in its gardens. The bricks have been removed from the original Victorian Salvation Army children's home. The bricks have been cleaned and prepared, but only enough to get the dirt off. We wanted them to be original. Each brick will be presented in an outer box and will be numbered and embossed with an hologram. The money raised from the sale of these bricks will be used to help build a new strawberry field. Strawberry Field would become a beacon of hope for young adults with learning disabilities in Liverpool and Merseyside. How cool is that, man? Your money is going towards, you know, helping people. It will be a hub where where these young adults, through training, coaching, and work, work placements, will be better equipped to seek employment and make a specific contribution to the community. It's time to reopen the gates of Strawberry Field. All that's cool and everything, and I dig that my money for this is going to support this. But all I know is I'm owning a piece of Strawberry Field, and you can too. And so up, coming up here, I'm going to do an unboxing of the brick and see what number we got and how cool it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> Strawberry Fields. Come on! <laughs> Strawberry Fields forever. <laughs> she got a razor blade instead of the silly knife. Oh, I should probably keep this. Nope, well, too late now. It's cut in half. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All the way from the UK. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right. Whoa, a piece of cardboard! I'm so excited. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's sealed. Whoa, look at that! Oh, check it out! That is so cool. It's in its own little box. Oh, whoa, man. Oh, man, this is cool. Okay, let's get rid of the box. Later, box. All right, so there we got this. What's in here? This must be like authenticity or something. Okay, here we go. I'm opening this before we open up our box. Yeah, it's some kind of certificate saying, well, you bought a piece of strawberry fields. Yeah, there it is. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I think I got a cheat. I think that's my number of the brick. Wow, oh, there's the number, 298. Hey, that's cool. That is cool. All right, here is our main attention, Strawberry Field. There it is, man. And here inside of here, apparently, is a heavy thing that is a brick. <laughs> I just think it's cool, man. Oh, seriously? Wow, it's like Christmas. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Oh, man, look at this. Now this is cool. Look at that. That is so cool. That is really cool. All right. 
Wow, very cool. I'm kind of bummed that the little paper thing has a crease in it right there. I'm trying not to be too anal retentive about it. Be very careful. Wow, that's a serious brick, dude. Wow, how cool is that? How cool is that? Wow. So you purchased this and you have an actual brick that was a part of the original Salvation Army building that John Lennon played at when he was a kid. How cool. That's awesome. Obviously, every brick is different. And they put the little holographic thing with the number right on the brick. That is cool. All right. That is way cool. Okay, I'll be back. Wow, strawberry fields forever. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And Beetle fans everywhere across the world, you too can own a piece of the original strawberry fields in Liverpool. That is so awesome. I am so pleased with this thing. It's so cool that it comes in this collective, this nice uh, display box, you know, and it's numbered and everything, and it comes with a certificate. But the main thing is, just, I mean, I, come on, I never thought I'd own a brick. But that is so cool. That is just, that, I'm really digging this thing. This is really neat. It's very unique. And each brick, obviously, is different. Mine's cool. It's got a rock coming out of it right up here. That's pretty cool. 298. I like it. So, again, go to strawberryfieldliverpool.com. There's t-shirts and mugs and all kinds of stuff. And your money's going to donate to help people. And that's cool, man. So, right on to the Salvation Army. And right on to Julia Baird. And now... I myself own a piece of strawberry fields. I'm totally psyched about that. And you can too. I'm Stewie Dark of Invisible Lid. Thank you so much for dropping by. If you'd like to like this video, please hit the like button. And by all means, feel free to subscribe because I'm a tiny little channel and I can use all the help I can get. Okay, long live the Beatles. Peace. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. See you later.